Here we go, back again with another match day vlog and Sundown welcome Norwich to the Stadium of Light on this strange weekend. I've just finished work, I'm off to meet Wincy now at the pub. I've had no breakfast, might go and get a bacon buddy from Maggie D's. Well, can Sunderland beat Norwich today? Well, it all depends if the team turns up after that absolutely devastating news yesterday of Alex Neil, almost 99% certain, heading off to Stoke. Been up since five o'clock, feeling very tired, but hopefully a bacon buddy will do the job and wake me up. <clears throat> bacon buddy nailed. Let's hope the players do turn up the day and that um, Twitter video is complete bullshit about the players wanting to leave. What an absolute gorgeous day today. Let's hope it's going to be a gorgeous result. I'm going to go for a, a sneaky 1-0 Sunderland win. I'm going to keep the faith when it sometimes it feels difficult to do that. Here we are with the Lollipop Kids. Jonas and... Uh, is it, what's your name again? Logan. Logan, Logan. Jonas, yeah. what's your thoughts on Alex Neil leaving the day before the Norwich game? Well, he's just a twat, isn't he? It's a what? He's a twat. It's a what? He's a twat. You shouldn't be swearing, man. <laughs> you're only about 10, and yeah, well, come on. <laughs> anyway, who do you want as a new manager? Uh, Neil Warnock. I Neil Warnock. Warnock. I want to him to come out of retirement. Do you? Just, just for the full season? It's competition yeah, I want today? him to come out as well. 3-1. You want, want him Neil as well, Warnock. do you? Yeah. Neil Warnock, what for? For a manager. For a, well, I can't know for a manager, manager. but is that, yeah. nobody else? He's a good manager. Oh. What oh, about Bielsa? Strong. Sean Dice, 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 yeah, Dice. Bielsa or Dice. Dice score prediction today, Logan? 2-1 Sunderland. 2-1 Sunderland? 3-1. 3-1, who's going to score? Stewart and Sims. Stewart SES. Stewart 2 and Sims 1. SES. See so you later, Lollipop kids. <laughs> Here we are down by the spot, he's with Wincy. Wincy, what a gorgeous day it is, isn't it? Nice, good day for it, isn't it? Nice one, he's starting early today? Aye, uh, it's at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? I thought it was 8 o'clock now. No. <laughs> I wish. What's your thoughts on Alex Neil leaving then? I think he's fucking shocking me, like, what happened yesterday? Are you good at it? Well, I was yesterday, but I couldn't take move on, innit? Move on, eh? What's the score going to beat today? 1-0 Sunderland. 1-0 Sunderland? Sims. Sims. Tough game against Norwich, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fearing the worst if we go a goal down, but hopefully uh, the team, hopefully that, that uh, Twitter video is a load of shite. I think it is, like, because it was a fucking George's voice that was saying it. Exactly, hopefully, hopefully the team will come out and perform and we'll get uh, a win right today. 1-0. Who do you want as manager? Who do you fancy? Anybody in the in the pipeline, would you think? <coughs> Here you outside the sport, he's nice and early with Kyla and Wendy. Wendy. Kyla and Wendy, I think there, because we mind you. <laughs> too early, I've been up too early in the morning, I kind of think straight. I need another pint, I think. Actually, I need a, I need one pint. I've had no pint so far. Right, what's the score prediction today? 1-1. 1-1? I'd say 2-1 or Sunderland. 2-1? Yeah. 2-1 to Sunderland? Yeah. We're going to win? Yeah. Definitely happy <laughs> days. I like that, I like that. So, Wincy, who do you want as next Sullen manager? I have to roll the dice about this one, like. You have to roll the dice about this. Oh, Find <laughs> 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 the roll the dice. He's on form, he's on form already. Rear Mondo. Look All at right. me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. That's, that's it, Rear Mondo. Turn around here. What's your thoughts on the Alex Neil saga? You're very intuitive. I think it's all about the money, honey. So he's gone for money. he's gone for more money, and that's the end of the story. I wish him all the best. Of what? No, I don't wish him all the best. I think he could have waited a couple of weeks, a couple of, at least this game and Winter's game before he went. I think he should have waited till after this game. Definitely, at least, definitely. At least to What's your thoughts on the players? Are they going to perform today? I think they will. Well, yeah. I don't think it's going to make any difference. What's the score going to be then? Mate? I'm going to say two 0 Two 0 Stewart two. Who do you think? I'll be the new manager. I haven't, to be honest to you, I haven't got a clue. I'm not a clue. Go to the day, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Uh, uh, him, him that got sacked from Leeds. But he else said? I think he'd be too much. They'll, they'll not pay for him. Man. No. We're not going to spend any money, are we? Let's go prediction here. 2-0. Stuart 2. In the Hilton Hotel with Chris. Chris, thanks for the paint. Cheers, mate. Cheers. What's your score prediction today, Chris? To what, Sunderland? And what's your thoughts on Alex Neil? Who's to blame, Alex Neil or the board? Got to say, uh, both. Both? Both, both, both. It's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit nasty leaving the day before a big game, isn't it? Uh, Not good, he could have waited for the moment. I know. What's your thoughts on Speakman and KLD, you know? Uh, jury out? Put this way, he's, he's, done the, he's done the dirty on Sunderland. Put that way. Alex Neil? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He stood the dirty on. You know, we only found out yesterday. The box. Mm -hmm. What are you? Aye, that way. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. What were we saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was going to say was, who do you want as the new next head coach or manager? You know, to be fair, I don't think we're, we're, any, anybody, I don't think we could actually predict what we could have. That's difficult, isn't it? it, it, it the amount of uh, crushing and blows someone's had over the years, it's, you know, it's, it's bittersweet. Exactly. Bit, you know, it's, uh, but it's, it is a cunt what uh, he's done there, like, and, uh, Let's no. just hope we get three points today, mate. No, no, because at the end of the day, it's red and white on me, son, until I die. Keep the faith, eh? You know what I mean? Exactly. We're one of the best clubs in Europe. The bad thing about us all, we're in the fucking Champions, uh, the fucking Champions League. I'm getting away, mate. So <laughs> the Championship. <laughs> Hopefully in five or six years' time. Anyway, game. cheers, mate. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much. We're with Michael Lee and Dylan. Score predictions? 2-1, son. 2-1. What shall sure we like? Come on, one again with another match day review from the vlog and it's finished Sunderland nil Norwich won but that does not tell half the story now after the debacle with Alex Neil yesterday first of all I want to apologize for like this rubbish vlog I mean my heart's not in it today my heart's not in it I just don't feel up to it that, that sun is just baked on my head all day at the match and I just feel, I feel a bit numb today, you know what I mean? But let's finish one little Norwich. And to be fair, it was a pleasing performance from Sunderland. I want to give that team today, I want to give that team today 8 out of 10. It was a pleasing performance from every single player. They came out today and they worked their socks off. They came out today and they all played for the fans, for their own, you know, the shirt that they wear on the back. And they played for the... For the assistant coach. And to be fair, I'm pretty impressed with the performance today. Norwich have a really good quality squad. They've still got their parachute payments. They've still basically got a Premier League squad. And to be fair, for the majority of the game, we were the better side. We had a couple off the line. We hit the crossbar. We hit the post. We did everything but score. And some days, you just know Lady Luck is not going to be on your side. And we just couldn't. Put the ball in the back and then I thought you know barring I thought to be fair the only player that was a bit weak on the side I thought Sims was a bit of a weakest link to be honest I thought he did okay but I thought you know they all did come out they all performed and like I said we did everything but score and it wasn't until Norwich kind of started to get a bit more into the game towards the last third of the match and, and Sunderland players got tired and this is where for me the game changes Norwich have quality players they can't loan Pookie to bring on and we don't have a real strong squad. We don't we have bench bench warmers Emerald and Roberts came on, but you know our best eleven started. And it's time to move on. Alex Neal's gone. Alex Neal's made his bed, he's gone. That's it, he's gone. You know. Wish him all the best, but you know, it's time to move on. And I don't want him back. 
No, I don't want him back. And the fans made their voices hurt today. They, they don't want him back either. He's deserted the team. And I, yeah, I'm still a bit disappointed. But end of the day, we have to get behind the squad. We have to get behind the team. And I think, you know, with that performance today, that is quite heartening. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that performance today. Like I said before, I thought it was a very good performance. I thought Luke 9 in defence had a really good game. For me, he was one of the best players on the side. He got a yellow card, but apart from that, he didn't put a foot wrong. And on other news as well, apparently Edmund Mershut leaves Paris Saint-Germain to join Sunderland. It's a done deal, apparently. Full agreement in place on initial loan move with a buy-in clause of around 5 million euros. 5 million euros. And apparently was at the Stadium of Light watching the game today. This young lad was at the Stadium of Light. Edmund Mishut. I can't even pronounce his name. I'm awful at pronouncing the names. But we've got another young lad. The tag is 22 years of age. So watch this space. Watch this space. Hopefully we can bounce back with the result against Rotherham. I, I, I feel actually, I feel I'm confident we can beat Rotherham after that performance today on Wednesday night. I really do. I'm very impressed with the attitude of the Sunderland players. So again, there you go. I, I, I'm, I'm, it's not the usual vlog. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling up to it. I don't feel. I've been to work since five o'clock this morning. Up since quarter five. Feeling a little bit under the weather. The heat's really been pounding on my head all day. I should have worn my cap. I'm just going to go to bed. Is going to go to bed again thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel much appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel and i'll be back <sighs> but yeah and i want to give a shout out to the sunderland fans the sunderland fans were absolutely superb today the sunderland fans were superb every single sunderland fan got right behind the team and the team did their best to try and bring the three points home we got beat by a quality Norwich side, a quality Norwich side. So, you know, I wish I wish Norwich all the best for the rest of the season. They they probably, for me, are the side that could probably win the Premier League. Champion. <laughs> the champion I'm going to bet. See you there. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>